I hear you've dealt with Mr. Lynch on your own terms. Now all that stands between you and the Strand are his ever-loyal cronies. Good luck. This borough belongs to us! Rook! Rook! It's time to fight! A letter for me. I thought I'd stop by for a visit. Back from a caper, Gov. waiting for you at Whitechapel Station. Nigel wants to make up for things, so he got you a gift. Oi, Mr. Fry, come have a look at this. Ain't she a beauty? Oh, well done, Nigel. Yeah, I nicked it off the gang across town, got them all stewed, and then took it when they was asleep. <laughs> Here, sir, let me show you. It's jumped. Oh, shit. <gasps> Move!
I believe it's time to go! Letter for me. Nice to see you again, Mr. Fry. What an unusual call. The train's ours now. May as well make ourselves at home. Expecting a fist fight, dear brother.
I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Where would I find the doctor?
As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Litson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. What's the matter? Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole Dr. your key? Hitson cannot be Don't allowed go anywhere. to continue his experiment. I might be able to do something. I must speak to Nurse Nightingale. She will know what to do. Oh. I wonder why so few patients die this week. Ready to assist. This is a secure area. Dr. Elliotson cannot be allowed to continue his experimentations. You'll be just a little... Come here! Give it chase! <laughs>
worst. I am sure. You have my gratitude, sir. I shall inform Miss Nightingale that I'll not be working for this asylum ever again. administer soothing syrup without Dr. Elliotson's written consent. Ah, bollocks. It will only take a moment. I'm sorry, sir, but you aren't allowed in here.
Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. And since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. Corpses do not have boots. Last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I are a child. A child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing?
Let's go. Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but he's you. simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin? You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzelberg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. A letter? For me?
Pleasure to see you. You're a bit of a night owl, I eh, come You've sharpened that blade, Jacob.
Look sharp. I will be back. Thanks much, Miss. Seems a letter has come for Jake. Of kids this month and still. 
still no progress.
need a Time to deal with street rats. String them up. Break a bar.
Taken over the bummer, Miss Fry. Just said this week's loan to last week's. That's the way there ought to be a law against bad manners. I won't talk with you. With Miss Nora gone, I'd say your chances of winning the fight have increased, but I'd still keep my eye on those blighters if I were you. is ours for the taking. Don't let the side down. For you, Chief. 